it's all working, it's on, it's powering up. Card reader's coming on and they're looking good. So that's location number two completed. And if you notice, there's no coins to collect in that location. And that's one of my best locations actually, but they literally do 99% of their purchases by card, by contactless. Apple Watch, Samsung Pay, Apple Pay, whatever it is, but they very rarely use coins, but uh, that's just how it goes. Good to have a contactless card reader on your vending machines because you never know if they're gonna have money with them on the day or not. On to location number three. So we had some really, really good news at this location. As you can see, this Clix hot drinks machine has always been beside my Snacky Max combo vending machine. The good news is that the operators have disappeared and just abandoned this clicks machine. So I volunteered to take, o take it over, clean it up, get it back to a, a good condition and restock and run the vending machine for them, which the location was super, super happy with. So let's have a look at what I did to get this hot drinks clicks machine back into good, clean working order and making money. Let's go.
Hot chocolate, mate? No. No? Too early. I just pressed hot chocolate then. Someone, um, someone else is going to have to drink that. I'll just drink it. Here we have the Clix hot drink machine. So you can see the different selections on the front there. There's so many different selections available, but per machine, you've got up to 16 selections at one time. You've got the connection cable there for the water inlet. And then you've got the power cable on this side. And if we look inside the machine, inside looks like we've got a coin mech here we've got where the drinks will go the drink cups the water inlet the filter down there the water bucket some money keys in there this is where the coin box is where the coins go and then one thing that's really nice is that you can pull these little tickets out is where you select show the customer what selections are available in your machine at any one time and then you just pop them in back in there like that and you've got the other selections down here so here we have an outdoor location for this clicks hot drink machine and we have a slight issue because it's got an outdoor water pipe and this is a, a self-cutting tap, which I need to attach to the pipe. But you notice the first place that the pipe has any space available is there behind the existing tap. Now that existing tap is used as sort of like a, a washing area for hands, for feet. It's a, it's, a, it's a place of prayer, a mosque. So that bench effectively, which people would sit on, would be out of service because our pipe for our hot clink, uh, drinks machine would be sort of in the way. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to maybe pull the pipe forward, get a little bit of uh, more space. Let's see. So I've just put the cash into this machine. Here's all the coins. So I've put 30 pounds worth of coins of change into this machine and I'm going to put the rest in the other machines. So I'm just going to quickly show you a test vend. As you can see, it says free vend at the moment. So I know this is the soup. So it says your drink is on the way. Okay, we're working away inside. Here we have the soup, vegetable soup. And it's very, very hot. As you can see, the steam coming off of it. Please select the product. Please present your card or your mobile phone. Authorizing. Buddy. my name is Jeff and I'm from the United States and I never do product reviews and I really wasn't planning on doing one this time but I changed my mind because I was able to get my first vending location up and running after reading the blueprint vending ebook and I just wanted to give a big shout out and a big thanks so I drove down to Bournemouth by the beach guys to have a view of a new location potentially at the university let's have a look around the campus and see the site Hey 
my name is Anna and I'm from Jamaica. So I came across Blueprint Vending Warehouse on TikTok and I decided to watch a few of the live streams before making up my mind to try vending for myself. I have no sales background at all so I really didn't know how I could get vending machine locations. I know the thought of working for yourself and making passive income might sound a little bit tough but it's actually not that difficult to get started. I have read the passive income from vending machines ebook twice now and it tells you what's involved with setting up a vending business. It also explains how much money you can expect to make and it will even show you some of the most profitable locations to put your machines. I didn't know what I wanted to sell in my vending machines but I decided to book a zoom session and Andre helped me to come up with some ideas. I've decided to do superfoods for gyms and leisure centers and I'm moving my very first machine in on Friday. I've also got my product Charlie and my storage racks ordered from the website. I was stuck in my comfort zone for a really long time but I want to tell you that if I can do it then you definitely can do it too. It's much easier than you think because the ebook actually teaches you how to create your passive income machine, how to get started with the stocking of your vending machines, what to look out for when buying a vending machine, and the best options for your initial investment. Now I'm actually thinking of starting my own vending machine social page as well. Thank you for all of your help, Andre and Blueprint Vending Warehouse. I will definitely be back to buy some more soon.
now we're going to make sure that the prices are done correctly so we've got the settings key in down there at the bottom we press that little button on there and this is a nectar snacky max machine by the way so then it takes us to this settings menu so that we can then select an item one that we've just filled most probably so we're going to start with number 40 but we're going to go to individual price press enter and then enter again and then we make a selection so we're going to choose 40 because we know we just filled that one and it says the price is at 80 pence and that's correct so then we'll go to another one that we filled so we'll do this one here which is 45 just to make sure so let's enter that because that's okay so now let's choose 45 and that's also 80 pence so that's absolutely fine as well now let's check on the drinks so let's check this water here so that's number 52 so we'll go 52 80 pence that's correct and let's do the others So now let's take out the settings key. That's where the coins land, inside there. We'll close this up. So I'm back in the car now guys, thankfully I've survived that. So now it's off to location number two. Can you see how cold it is? Look at this. That's not special effects guys, that's real. That's how cold it is in the UK right now. So off we go to location number two. I'm Tierra from Texas and I've always wanted to have a side hustle but am just so busy looking after my family. Learning vending through the Blueprint ebook made the difference for me. I spoke to my neighbor and he said yes to putting a soda machine in the break room in his warehouse. It takes me 30 minutes a week to restock and in my first month I'll make enough to pay my car note. Thanks Blueprint. 
So I'm literally just on the way to um, this new location now. Get this new location opened. Um, show you guys, well in fact, receive the delivery guys with the vending machine who have gone to pick it up in uh, Bolton today. So um, getting that done, it's actually raining. So the weather's not the best today, but you gotta do what you gotta do. As you can see, got some stock with me, got the trolley with me, um, got a bag of coins with me as well here, because this is gonna go into the coin mech, get that done, and um, yeah, make sure that this uh, location is up and running. Because it's the holidays, it's not actually fully opened at the moment, so, I don't think there's actually gonna be people in the location that will be using it, but I think they're open still because the builders are there. But let's have a look anyway, see how um, we get on, and you guys are gonna to get to see what it's like moving in a new vending machine. Let's go. So these are the stairs of the building. Too many stairs and too narrow to wanna to take it up the stairs. So we use the lift, very, very narrow lift. So I had to measure it before we came in to make sure the vending machine would fit and it just about fit. So then we go through here, nicely newly refurbished three uh, floor building, classrooms. And uh, let me see if I can show you guys. Lovely classrooms, refurbished, newly painted. Then we go down the hallway slightly see the vending machine there but then we come lovely newly refurbished uh, bathrooms for these students and then we come into the kitchen and we have the vending machine so this is the snacky max nectar brand uh, we've got a Nyax contactless card reader here this is their kitchen break room on the third floor um, as I mentioned there's three floors uh, this is only a snack machine, but I am going to be changing these two trays for drinks. So these coils will come out and the drinks coils will come in there that will be for the bottles and then this on the shelf here will be for the cans. So time to get filling up and I'll show you what it looks like when I've done most of the filling. Coins go into the coin mat, just like that. I've got the coins in there, and then we've got this board here, the mains board. When it's switched on, we press that button, and that's going to allow us to set up all the prices on the front screen. And this yellow wire that you see from the back, the black wire, firstly, that's the aerial, the antenna, the contactless card reader and then the yellow wire goes from the contactless card reader down here and connects with a six pin mdb cable multi-drop bus is what it stands for and that goes straight into the uh, coin mechanism so that it can recognize the card payments let's get to that
good thing about this machine here is that the selection for the crisp at the top has 10 uh, spaces. Some coils only have eight spaces. This has 10, so it means you get more product in. crisps again so anytime you see these double coils it's for crisps or packets like Haribo's, Marwams, anything that comes in sort of like a bigger packet than a, than a single chocolate or something like that so what we'll do in those selections there let's have a quick look yeah so we've got a couple more those so, and here we'll go crisps again so let's open up this product bucket over here and how about we bring this onto the table here, make it a lot easier. Back up there. And then we can start to fill up. So let's go for the original hula hoop. Try and get 10 in there again.
So what you see with the coils is that some of them are wider than the others. So these two are quite a slim line. This one's wide, 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 and wide. So that determines which item you should use for which coil. So I wouldn't waste one of the wide coils on such a slim item like a kit cut. I might as well use a nice slim coil because it fits in there nicely. So we'll put a kit cut over here. have too many like I was saying this wasn't a fill up day I didn't go and get more stock that's what I have left over which is absolutely fine so this box as well let's throw that out of let's bring these two over Okay, so this is the moment of truth. Let's see what we've got so far. Good thing about these plugs, by the way, they're surge protectors. So hopefully what it means is that in case there's a surge of power through the connection, this would actually cut out so that it doesn't blow the rest of the uh, fuses that are plugged into the socket. So let's have a look. We've got the service key here. Put that down here. snacks we'll come back and make sure that gets filled up properly but we're looking okay everything's working everything's switching on select product the prices will be the old prices at the moment so yeah a pound we're gonna get these prices changed up right now if you remember what I said earlier to change your prices you come into the settings menu like this press this button here Take it to individual price, you press enter, cash, new selection, so 11. So we want that to be 40 pence. So we'll change that to 40, like that. Press enter, and then it moves on to the next one. So we'll get all the prices changed guys, and then we'll be done. So even though we've got everything, or not everything, but we've got the stuff that we have here filled today, it's still important to do some test vents. So we've got some coins here. We're gonna put these into the machine, try and make a few selections, and fingers crossed, everything works. So let's put the money in. That's looking good, so credit is one pound. What should we go for? Okay, because most of the stuff in here is 80 pence, we're gonna go for the Cheetos to make sure that it gives us the correct change. So 11. Perfect. Now let's see if it gives us our change. Correct change. Yes. So let's try. set up good to go these students are really gonna enjoy the vendor machine so we can go now boxes folded up and we'll see what we've got 
see you again in a couple of days time. Rest of our rubbish. Don't have any complaints. About rubbish being left behind. So we're back here at our college location and the students have been loving the Snacky Max combo machine. I've actually added Capri Sun drinks at the bottom of it, but we now have a brand new member as part of the team. We have the Clicks Hot Drinks vending machine. So um, if you notice, I've added a hot drinks vending machine to a different location. We're gonna put the card reader there in that position. You've got 16 different options. You've got different brands, different drinks, coffees, teas, lemon teas, cappuccinos, vanilla lattes, orange juices. You've got loads of different choices. And I've brought some uh, more top-ups as well to add in there. Cadbury's hot chocolate. The, the list is endless. So we're gonna get that machine set up and ready to go. Now, with this Snacky Max machine, one of uh, my uh, mentees was saying that they had a problem with the power in their one going out. So I've found out from a good friend that uh, it's the 6.3 amp fuses that would sometimes be the issue. So if you get an issue with your Snacky Max machine not having any power, so it just goes dead, go out, buy the slow burn or slow blow, sometimes they're called glass fuses, 6.3 amp get those changed, it's not difficult, and um, you'll be able to figure out the power on the Snacky Mac. So, you're just gonna need a little screwdriver to unscrew that little compartment uh, there, and then you pull out the glass fuses, the 6.3 small little fuses that you can buy online, and then you replace them with the new fuse, you push that back in, in place, there's two of them by the way, and once you've replaced those, you should get power back to your Snacky Max machine. Now, if you look behind the trays, you'll notice these looms, these wire looms, and they actually are responsible for connecting up the motors for each tray so that it can receive the signal from each tray and know what to do with each motor. So if you ever have an issue with one of the selections not working, just check that the loom is properly plugged in on the side and then look behind the tray at the specific motor that's not working and make sure that all the little fixings are pushed in properly. They're not loose, they've not fallen out by accident um, and that could be a simple, easy way to fix a selection that isn't working. By the way, it's not just the Snacky Max that has that loss of power issue. Um, I've had the same experience with a BevMax drinks machine before, and the fuses are in a similar position on the BevMax machine, so check those out if you need to. So I've just left the wholesalers and I've picked up all the goodies, the snacks, and the uh, items that we'll need for the gym location. So let's head over there with these snacks to uh, refill our gym location vending machine.
So if you remember earlier, I mentioned about motors not working and what the issue might be. So here's an example of a selection not working. Now on to another location. Back at the gym location after only a few days. Don't forget, you can get the ebook from www.blueprintvendingwarehouse.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more vending machine YouTube videos. See you soon.